alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between Hilti and DeWalt. Now we are going to use the DeWalt XR uh, brushless hammer drill and we're going to use the Hilti brushless hammer drill that just came out now. So when it comes to this test, in reality, what I should be using in compare, uh, when it comes to the amp hours of the battery, to be fair, uh, because I have a 4 amp hour, I should be using a 4 amp hour on the DeWalt. So I just feel the both the Milwaukee and the DeWalt's regular batteries will not keep up with the Hilti regular batteries because the Hilti regular batteries are Panasonic 21700 cells. But just like Ryobi, Ryobi requires an HP battery to even come close to compete with DeWalt or Milwaukee to even be in the lineup. And so the same thing is with DeWalt and Milwaukee. They need a special battery to compete with the regular batteries for Hilti. So we are gonna be using these two today. We are gonna do a little test with the four amp hour, do one or two tests just to see what the difference is. Uh, but just out of curiosity, but subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified for future videos, because in the future we are gonna do a nine amp hour battery, a flex volt versus an eight amp hour Hilti battery and a 8 amp hour Hilti battery against an 8 amp hour high output battery for the Milwaukee. Today's video is going to be the 6 amp hour flex volt versus the 4 amp hour Hilti. And just so you guys know, for the for my subscribers that watch uh, a lot of my videos, I do this in every video for the uh, for the people that only watch one video, then they move on. So the DeWalt is a very unique camera drill. This one has three speed settings. So the model number for this is DCD996. Uh, like I said, three speed settings. Uh, the RPMs for drill is zero to 500 on speed one, zero to 1300 on speed two, and zero to 2000 on speed three. For the hammer feature, that's a unique setting. There's actually di different RPMs for the hammer feature. It is 0 to 500 RPMs on speed 1, 0 to 1500 RPMs on speed 2, 0 to 2250 RPMs on speed 3. And so then the beats per minute on speed 1 is 0 to 8600, speed 2 is 0 to, tw 0 to 25,500, and on speed 3, 0 to 338,250. And so that's actually, that's a unique feature to have, you know, three speed settings and the RPMs change if you use the hammer drill, the hammer feature. And so that is the, that's the DeWalt uh, brushless motor, six volt. We're going to mainly use the six amp hour flex volt battery. This is a beast. I already uh, did a video on this. It's a beast. All right. So for the Hilti, we're going to use a four amp hour regular battery. Uh, the specs are actually on the bottom, and I'll put the torque for the DeWalt right now. Uh, and uh, the Hilti has two speed settings. Uh, first speed, speed 2, 0 to 2,000, and this is 708 inch-pounds of torque. And so, yeah, but this thing is uh, this thing's a beast. Uh, this thing did beat the Milwaukee, uh, not by much. Not my, not by much, but it did beat it, uh, and the Milwaukee was using a three amp hour high output battery, and like I said, we are going to be doing a versus video, eight amp hour versus eight amp hour. All right, so we are going to do a quick test against the four amp hour uh, Dewalt versus the four amp hour Hilti. Just one test. We're going to do, do one hole and just see what the difference is. Then after that, we're going to use the six amp hour flex volt. Battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so ready. Oh, oh it's on him. Drill. Go. Time. All righty, so let's switch over to the flex volt and do our uh, regular test. We're gonna do, uh, we'll do two holes, and then move on to the Hilti. That clears everything a little bit more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Yes, we can. 
All right, so ready? Go. <laughs> That broke. All right, we're gonna have to redo that one. We'll redo it right here. So ready, go. Time. All right, so let's switch over to the Hilti. More. Ready, go. Time. And one more. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. All right, let's go to the one and one eighth. One and one eighth. All right, so ready, go. Clears everything good. All right, so ready, go. Oh, we're gonna do three holes all at once. And if it stalls out, it loses, including with the Hilti. The Hilti stalled out last time, so it lost this test. All right, we got it on speed three. All right, so ready, go. It's through. It did not, it stalled out, but it finished the test. We're gonna start off the first hole right here. Then we're gonna go over here. All right, like I said before, if this stalls out, it, uh, it loses the test. All right, so ready, go. Done. Done, done, done. All right, the battery life on this is at three bars. Battery life on the DeWalt is still two bars. It seems like DeWalt loses that first bar quick, but it stays on the last two bars for a long time. There we go. We're gonna do it on speed three. All right, so ready, go. Go with Hilti. All right, so that clears everything. All right, so ready, go. And like I say, I do not know what the results are. I find the results out during the edit of the video. Alrighty, so we are gonna do three timber locks each, and then we're gonna do one 5.5 lag screw. All right, so ready, go. Time, wow, that was fast. That was fast. Let's do the next one. Ready? Go. I keep doing that. So I could eat, take it out a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so, ready, go. I feel, I feel that DeWalt did it better. That's just a feeling. All right, so, ready, go. All 
One more. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so that's three for three for uh, Dewalt, three for Hilti. All right, Hilti is gonna take Dewalt's out, and Dewalt is gonna take Hilti's out. All right, so ready, go. This one's out. It was just a half a turn. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. Well, once again, I do not know the re what the results are. All right, but let's put in uh, five and a half inch timber locks into the lock. So we are gonna do DeWalt first. We got it on speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not bad. Time for Hilti's, got it on speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. So let's take them out. Do, uh, DeWalt is gonna do Hilti's and Hilti's is gonna do DeWalt's. All right, so ready, go. Time. Did it like nothing. All right, so ready, go. Time. All righty, so it is time for the one and a half inch into a six by six pressure treated wood. For this, we do need the handles. The DeWalt handle is mostly fiberglass with like a small metal screw rod. So yeah. All right, so we're good to go. That clears everything. We're gonna scooch it that much more. A little bit. There we go. All right, so ready, go. Excellent. All right, so let's slowly take it out. Yeah, the Hilti's uh, handle is a lot more robust, and it's mostly made out of metal with extreme dense uh, fiberglass handle with a good metal rod and metal clamps. All right, so right there is good. We clear everything. All right, so ready? Go. That is time. All right, let's slowly take it out. So we're using speed three. All right, so we clear everything. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Time. That is fast. That, that was faster than the Milwaukee. All right, right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Did it with like nothing. That's gonna be a close one. I do not know who that is, but the time is there already. That is awesome. All 
All right, so both of these drills did exceptionally well for the test that they were given now. The DeWalt is a beast. The same thing with the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee hammer drill and the DeWalt are both beasts <coughs> along with the Hilti. So I felt that the DeWalt did better in some tasks than the Hilti and Hilti did some tasks better than the DeWalt. What we're gonna do is I'm going to just uh, tally up the amount of times either of these won or lost and that determines the winner. And so I wish I could put a scoreboard on and just keep that up there, but with the program that I use, because I use iMovie, I cannot. So both of these brands have more powerful batteries. The Hilti has an 8 amp hour and the DeWalt has a 9 amp hour and 12 amp hour flex volt. In a future video, we're, we are going to do a versus video between these two and see if there is a difference in performance in either of the tools, because the 9 amp hour might make the DeWalt much better than the 8 amp hour would for the Hilti and vice versa. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. We are doing, in the, uh, like I said earlier, we are doing uh, 8 amp hour high output Milwaukee versus 8 amp hour Hilti. We're gonna do, uh, that's gonna be in an upcoming video soon. Please don't hate me for the results, the results are there. I try to get it down to the millisecond. I do not, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't gain anything if a one tool wins or, or the other. I seriously replay, replay, replay until I get the exact millisecond of that performance of the tool. And so that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.